If you sent an email, did a little online banking, or spent some time on Facebook today, someone may have been watching. In an exclusive interview tonight, the former chief of Canada's secretive security agency, CSEC, says if the agency wanted to spy on you, it most certainly could, easily. He says it's illegal, of course, and not the agency's mandate. But some experts say you'd best assume nothing is private. The CBC's Greg Weston has this story for us tonight. Greg. Peter, it's Canada's most secretive intelligence agency, and for decades it has lived in the darkest shadows of spy world. Until now, John Adams recently retired as its spy master, and he has a warning for all Canadians. The reality is if you're on the internet, you literally might as well be on the front page of the Globe and Mail. It is very accessible by anybody that has any inclination to, to want to access it. If you think anything you read, write, or send via the internet is private, think again. Even passwords are no guarantee of security. If you use a word that's in the dictionary, they'll crack it in less than a minute. John Adams headed the Communications Security Establishment Canada for seven years. Part of its mandate is to intercept foreign communications, including those coming into Canada. It has the capability to spy on Canadians, but Adams is firm the agency isn't. That's against the law. Absolutely not. Adams says there are checks and balances. People will say, well, law isn't enough. Well, okay, it probably, it, maybe it isn't. I don't necessarily subscribe to that theory. But there is a review uh, agency that does spend a full, its full time reviewing everything that uh, CSE does. That small review agency is headed by a retired judge reporting to the defense minister. Critics say that's not enough to monitor the massive amounts of information gathered by CSEC. Others say the problem is secrecy. We don't know enough about what CSEC does. Jennifer Stoddard's job is to protect Canadians' privacy. But even for her, CSEC's wall of secrecy is impossible to penetrate. I think they could be a bit more forthcoming about what they're doing, particularly what they're doing with Canadian data. Adams admits the agency has deliberately kept Canadians in the dark. There's no question uh, that, that CSEC uh, is very, very biased towards the less the public knows, the better. Um, and in fact, it seems to have worked because you very seldom see them on the front page of the newspapers. That's all changing. And because they use the same networks we do. Despite earlier denials, we now know the U.S. National Security Agency has been gathering masses of information on its own citizens. And that has raised questions about what CSEC is doing. CSEC has a close intelligence sharing agreement with the NSA and three other allies, the so-called Five Eyes, including Britain's equivalent, known as GCHQ. Thomas Drake is a former NSA executive turned whistleblower. You can assume in terms of CSE that, you know, it's one of the little, the little brothers of Big Brother NSA. It's part of the Five Eyes community. They're generally going to go along with uh, whatever NSA and GCHQ say. Um, they are in partnership. Drake says look no further than the G20 summit in London in 2009 to see how that partnership worked. Leaked documents recently published in the British newspaper The Guardian showed the NSA and British intelligence spied on diplomats at the summit. The official seal for CSEC appears on the documents used to debrief the intelligence agencies. Drake says that implicates Canada. The fact that, they, that their seal shows up means that they are participants. CSEC's participation in spying at the London summit is now bound to raise questions about whether Canada also spied on its own guests when it hosted the G20 the next year in Toronto. Peter? Greg, you know, MPs have tried to get more oversight of CSEC in the past. Is there a sense something will change now? Well, Peter, with spy agencies in the U.S. and the U.K. awash in scandal, CSEC knows it can't simply pull down the blinds and hope the questions go away. Even John Adams thinks his former agency should now be subject to some kind of special parliamentary oversight committee. All right, Greg, thank you. Greg Weston in Ottawa tonight. Well, as Greg mentioned, 
There is a watchdog that oversees CSAC. The current commissioner is retired judge Robert DeCarry. In his last annual report at the end of August, DeCarry said it appeared CSEC may have been spying on Canadians. But he said he couldn't actually be sure because some CSEC records were unclear or incomplete.